Hi everyone. Um, today I decided I am going to do something a little different and um, it's something that I haven't done yet because I don't like people to see me struggle. Um, but I've gotten a lot of requests for um, people that want to know more about my exercise routine. So today I am having you join me um, for my exercising. And um, I'm going to start in here where I have my free weights. Um, I don't do this every day, but I just want to give you an idea of some of the variations that I do um, with all of my exercises so that you can kind of see how I mix it up some. So um, I'm going to start here today and I am just in t-shirt and sweats and um, I'm ready to do my thing. And um, like I said, I haven't done this already because I can't stand for people to see me struggle, but um, here we go. And uh, this is how I work out um, almost on a daily basis. If I'm not doing um, an actual routine, then I am going somewhere and out being active like shopping or, you know, doing other things that require walking. So, um, here we go. So, <clears throat> for my free weights, I actually use um, these here. And I like them because with just a switch of a button, you can change the amount of weight that you're using on it. And that way, when you pick it up, it only has those weights on it. So, um, yeah, and since I haven't done these in a little while, I am going to go ahead and start off with um, 15 pounds on each. And I do my free weights laying down because I'm not even supposed to be lifting. Um, so, I am mainly trying to just work my arms, chest, and... Um, you know, keep my strength up in my upper body, and that definitely you'll find helps with showering and dishes and your other daily activities that you do. So um, I know when I started it, I could definitely notice a difference after even just a week of it. So it helps a lot. So here we go. So what I have a tendency to do is... Um, like I said, I haven't done these in a little while, and um, that's because usually I'll work my way all the way up to using all of the weight on them, and then um, I stop for a while so that um, my body can have the benefits from it again, because it seems like whatever you keep doing for a while, your body gets used to, and um, then I stop and give it a break and start over. And that has worked well for me because I can only go so much, you know, it becomes unsafe for me to keep upping the weights. So um, this is a way of like restarting my system. So here we go. And hopefully you can see okay.
So I did 25 of each and um, that's all I'll do. It doesn't take a lot of doing um, to have a benefit. It just takes consistency. Um, the thing that I like about the free weights is um, it really gives me the feeling that I'm actually working my muscles because I get that um, soreness and um, I like that whereas with the rest of my exercises a lot of them are on the bow flex and um, it just doesn't have that same effect it's good definitely for strengthening and it's probably even better for me because um, it's uh, exercising um, more with resistance than actual weight so um, it's it's not so much lifting um, so it's probably better and I do tend to use that more but I like to return to the free weights every now and then so um, I keep those up here on the carpet because I can lay down that way um, we have a weight room downstairs that we'll be headed to in a few minutes and um, there's just not as much room to spread out for my arms and stuff so um, I keep these up here separate so all right we'll be heading down okay so now I'm down here in um, the workout room downstairs and um, before I forget I just want to as a side note let you guys know that I always work out with um, tank oxygen and I turn it up um, today I'm going to turn it up to three I'm not going to push as hard so that um, hopefully I can talk a little bit while I work um, but uh, sometimes I push it up to four the air um, if I'm going to work harder so um, I always uh, have a seat when I get down here and let my air get up to 98 or 99 before I start um, that way I'm good and ready and have a nice reserve um, if it starts to go down some it gives it a chance to catch itself so um, I walk um, every day actually so maybe not always on a treadmill or here in the workout room but um, if I'm not going somewhere then I am on a treadmill or I'm actively doing something in my day you know um, so I just want to make that clear that um, this is an everyday thing for me, exercise. It, whether it's out in the real world or here, um, I don't take off for sick days or anything. I keep going. Um, the most that I'll do if I don't feel good is I'll go slower that day, but I still make sure to do it. Um, it's easy to fall into a routine of where I don't feel as good I'll wait till I feel better and then before you know it you know you have um, lost your ability to do it so um, I try to be real careful with that and um, work out you know on a daily basis and the walking probably the most important part of it all so um, I'm gonna get started on a treadmill now and I go for a half an hour at least and um, some days 45 minutes okay so here we go um. I also wear my oximeter the entire time that I am working so that um, I can keep track of my oxygen levels and my heart rate um, as you can see it's at 99 right now and my heart rate is at 107 um, and I monitor it the entire time that I'm working out um, I would advise you to check with your doctors individually um, I was advised not to go over 134 for my heart rate so I push it to that um, sometimes um, without staying there too long um, but Everybody's different, so you're going to want to check with your doctors on um, what's the safe level for you to go to. And then also realize that walking on the treadmill is not quite the same as real world walking. Because um, in the real world, 
Uh, it's not one set speed. You're not power assisted by the belt, you know, going. And also you do not have anything to support your upper body with because we have a tendency to hold on when we're on a treadmill. So walking in the real world is harder than walking on the treadmill. So in other words, you get more points for out there. <laughs> over six minutes in. Heart rate is 117. And I'm probably going to speed it up a little bit more now. Also just to mention, when I say real world is harder, um, it is, but the one good thing about the treadmill is that in the real world you probably wouldn't walk somewhere for a half an hour straight, so you'd probably stop and be doing other things in between. So the one thing that the treadmill does do is give you um, a consistent go at a certain time period. during that workout and um, sometimes I do the whole workout like at the increased speed sometimes not it just depends um, I try to do it as often as I can as fast as I can 
The alternative to that is um, slowing down. Some people find it easier to go slow and maybe increase the incline. And um, that's a way of increasing the difficulty level without increasing the speed. So any of those options will work. Now I'm going to move over here to the Bowflex and see if I can get the camera to show um, over there where you can see me good. But in any case, here's my stats right now, if you can see them. So it was 94 and 126. All right, let's see. I have 50 pounds on each side as far as the armband weights, the um, resistance band weights. And I know this is not going to be perfect form or anything. I am more worried about the movement and the resistance than perfect form. So um, as I get stronger, it will get better. I do 50 of each arm exercise down here. Um, I didn't start off that way. I started at approximately 10. Same with the treadmill. I did not start off at 30 minutes. I would start with three to five minutes and then get off and sit down for a minute or do my arms in between, go back on three to five more minutes. And then with increasing the speed, I maybe did one minute at an increased speed in the other four minutes at a lower speed and um, I just kept adding on so I got 10 minutes, 15, 20, now 30 and now I can do 45 minutes straight and I could do longer but I just don't have the time to stay and keep doing it so I keep increasing the difficulty level which you do have to keep doing because your body will just get used to it. And then it's like doing nothing. my arms how I decide how long I'm going to go is I go until it burns. So it started, you know, when I first started it would burn early. Now it takes about 50. Now, if you don't have equipment, there are a lot of other things that you can do for strengthening. Um, planks are great for core strength. You don't even have to move. They don't require any movement. Um, it's just a position that you hold. So that's great. Lunges can be done super slow. 
and work great for strengthening the legs, um, squats, and you don't even have to start off with squats, just getting up and down from a chair or a lower stool is great for strengthening. Um, with the arm exercises, a lot of people just start off that way, or you can get the little three pound weights um, and start off that way. Um, also, the Pilates bands are super cheap and they're great for stretching um, and they help with upper body strength. So um, you just have to get creative with what you have available to you. Um, the main thing is to get moving. and be consistent about it. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to show you is probably going to seem kind of weird and probably look ridiculous, but um, in any case, I like it because I feel like it stretches my lungs, stretches my rib cage, um, and just opens everything up in my chest area, um, plus then I do an exercise with it and it strengthens my stomach and lower back. So, um, I, I do suggest stretching, um, especially anytime you can bend your back the other way. Like a lot of times I'll lay over a footstool backwards, like in a back bend, and it really opens up your chest and stretches your body a way that it doesn't normally stretch. We do everything leading forward um, and it helps to um, bend it the other way and you'd be amazed at how much this helps with uh, your opening up your lungs and stuff. So stretching, don't ever underestimate, that's another thing that you can do that doesn't require any weights or any equipment, but it does huge things for you. Yoga is a great way to, to do that. Um, or just stretching, you know, just around the house. So, with this, like I said, it probably looks ridiculous, but it feels so good because it stretches out my rib cage my back, my shoulders. Um, a lot of times, a lot of that is tense with uh, lung diseases. So it feels really good. And then I just also use it as an exercise opportunity. So I just hang and let it just stretch. Like I said, that just feels really good all through my core. And once I've done a few minutes of that, just hang. Then I go ahead and do some leg lifts. And 
I only do 10 of those. So yeah, that's pretty much a combination of most of the exercises that I do and um, you can keep a little book, you know, like when you first start, it's kind of cool to see when you go from three minutes and you can do more at a higher speed. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of cool to see your growth and um, just gives you some concrete signs of progress. Um, I also use a Fitbit tracker um, to keep myself accountable to the number of steps. Um, on average, before I went to the hospital, I would average about 10,000 steps a day. Um, when I came out, I, it took a while to get back up to that, and now I average about 8 to 10 every day. So. Um, I'm pretty close to meeting the 10,000 a day um, goal, but I don't always every day, um, but at least 8,000. So it keeps me accountable. There are many different types of trackers out there, but if you do have a Fitbit tracker and you are up for some good competition and um, would like to join a group to keep you motivated, just send me a message through YouTube with your email address and I can add you to um, a, fit, a fitness group that we'll do here from my channel. And um, it just has, you know, challenges and we compete against each other and it's all in just good fun and to help keep each other motivated. So if you'd like to do that, again, that's with Fitbit and um, you just send me your email address that you registered your Fitbit with, send it to me through the YouTube message, and um, I will add you, and um, then you'll see that you'll pop up on my team, and we can um, keep track of each other's progress. So, um, happy exercising. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video has helped some. If you have additional questions, please feel free to ask. Um, if you have additional topic ideas, I would love the suggestions. Um, if you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one.